<laughs> you know, I don't get this often. Everyone in the big crowd is going to applaud for me. Yes! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ha! Ah. And as I uh, pass through here, this is known as where fat cats hang out and drink and get drunk. That's where. <laughs> oh boy. That's just known as the reception. I mean, we, we had the press conferences, we interviewed the players, and now, and now we're just, <laughs> as if we need more free food to hang out. <laughs> uh, let's see. But actually, the reason why they're here, this, this thing is kind of sponsored by Fox. I'm trying to interview some of the Fox announcers, as you know, this is a big, big year for Fox and the college football coverage. They're going to cover it like they've never covered it before. I'm going to try to see if there's a <laughs> one, one of their... Basically, I'm looking for Dave Wonstadt. You know, Dave Wonstadt used to, used to be a Dallas Cowboy. Assistant coach, and he went on to coach Chicago Bears, and and uh, and well, oh, hang on for a second. I ask my friend Valerie. Hey, Valerie. Hi. Hi. Where are all the uh, Fox announcers? Uh, oh, well, I see him right there. <laughs> well, actually, uh, well. Dave wants that. He has he has a local uh, cachet around here. He used to be the Dallas Cowboys assistant coach, and then he went on to be uh, coach at the Chicago and uh, Pittsburgh Panthers. And, and by the way, yesterday was a big day. It was uh, it was Jimmy Johnson's birthday. Was it really? Yes. I did not know that. It was also my sister's birthday on that same day as well. Okay. Yes. So, okay. Happy birthday, Jimmy. <laughs> we'll see him on the NFL on Fox on Sunday. So yeah. That's, that's right, yeah. Uh, so what did you want to talk to Dave about? Well, basically, the, well, talk about the college football and the upcoming season and what's to come. And okay. he's going to be a big part of that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that doesn't need about five minutes. <laughs> As you can see, the, the party's kicking, kicking big. <laughs> hey, there he is. I've been wanting to meet this guy. I, I see him every year every time he shows up here, but uh, Dave wants that. He's, uh, he has a local cachet around here. Former Dallas Cowboy assistant coach and uh, former coach of Chicago, Pittsburgh Panthers, and now he's an analyst for Fox. And, and first, let's get our birthday greetings out of the way. Jimmy Johnson, happy birthday, partner, That's if you're listening. Right. How about that? Yesterday, yes, I saw a picture of him and Troy Aikman eating a stack of nachos this big. Oh, yeah, well, there you go. That's right, yeah. And by, to me, with Troy Aikman, uh, congratulations, he's getting married again. So, yeah. That's right. That's right, yeah. Ah, oh, boy. Let's talk about... Uh, well, for starters, since you're a Dallas Cowboy, uh, you have some history with the Cowboys, and this is your first time being here at the Star. This is a beautiful place, but you have some, you gotta have some memories about Valley Ranch and. Uh, oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. When we were, uh, when we were here, it uh, we actually went to training camp down in Austin at the time. That's right. Yes, because we wanted every... to be in the heat, <laughs> and we were at Old Valley Ranch, and we all lived close to there, and. Uh -huh. I tell you what, everybody from Jerry and Jimmy, I mean, I, it was it was tough going early on. Oh yeah, and, uh, oh, yeah. And then obviously we we got it turned around. It was a lot of fun. We had such a young team. Uh -huh. The coaches were young, the owner was young, the players were young, That's and right. everybody just kind of enjoyed uh, enjoyed each other, and uh -huh. it was a, a great experience. Yes. Uh, 
let's, let's say, we took out the uh, young and everything, Jimmy, uh, Jerry Jones. Not that long, not that far away, he's going to go into the Hall of Fame. And, no, uh, I'm yes, going to be there. And you're going to be there. I'm going up, and, and Norm Turner's going, and Tony Wise is going, and Jimmy Johnson's coming in. <laughs> so uh, everybody's excited and, and really happy for Jerry. Well, well deserved. Well, okay, when... when when Jimmy Johnson got the nod to be the head coach, and you came along, and it was his staff and everything, uh, and what was it like, you know, taking over a team that, well, it had a lot of history, had a lot of winning history, but at the time, things were kind of like on, on, on the down road. Well, you know, I think the, the best thing that Jimmy did was we were a young staff. Uh -huh. By young, I mean we were young in age, but we were all new to the NFL. Yeah. And uh, we had a very young team. When that uh -huh. first Super Bowl, we, we were the youngest team in the NFL. Uh -huh. So we had a young team, a young staff. We were all probably a little bit naive and... Uh, Sometimes when you when you got that mentality and that chemistry, you can accomplish a heck of a lot more. That's right. And uh, you guys, uh, 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 say we went from one and one and one and fifteen, which right. I'm hard to believe. I said that way back when. I lived through that. That was right. so fun. Yes. To, to, uh, a decade, to a decade of dominance. Uh, now that uh, Cowboys are trying to rebuild, we're going to get the cost of football just a bit. And the, and the thing that held them back was defense. Are, are they pretty much going to do it the way you guys did it? Build it from like from front to back? You know, start with the defense and let the offense I think up? so. Yeah, you know what? I think their team's very similar to ours. They got a, a good quarterback. They got a good running back, a good receiver. And even when we won the Super Bowl, our defense, Charles Haley, who we picked up after training camp, uh -huh. we did not have a Pro Bowl player on our defense. So we were kind of a bend but don't break. And uh -huh. Cowboys are kind of that way now. That's right, yeah. So they, yes. They have a great opportunity. That's right. Let's talk about college football. And last time I saw a college football game, Clemson beat Alabama. So it proves that surprises lie ahead with the season that's coming up. Who do you think is going to, like, come out of the pack and post up the college championship trophy come uh, January? I don't know if there will be any surprises. I, I kind of like... Uh, you know, I don't know. Besides the Alabamas and Ohio States, I kind of like Washington. Everybody's talking about USC. I think uh -huh. Washington's got a good quarterback and yeah. nucleus coming back. Uh -huh. I think you got to keep an eye on them. And uh, I don't know. I, uh, I you know I like Florida State a little bit because they're defense. Oh, well, sorry. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say Florida State, and, it's like, and you know, uh, there will be a lot of improvement. You mentioned Washington, which I think is going to be a real good team, and Florida State's going to be good. Of course, that's not kind of about Alabama out in the SEC, what can I say? Yep. That's right. But you know what? It's going to be another fine season. Fox is going to be very much involved. It's like the biggest season they got coming up with college football. We're excited. Yep, big. We got, we, got, we got some great games, obviously, with the uh, Big 12. And we've got some good games with the Big Ten and some Pac-12 games, so we're excited about our season, and uh, we're looking forward to taking another step forward as far as college football. That's right. You're going to be in the studio along with us. Uh, in the studio with Matt Liner, Robert Smith, and Rob Stone. Yep. It's going to be fun. Thank you, Dave Wonstadt, for being on the Donnie Sport Football Show. Thanks, honey. Yeah, yeah. All right. And you see that Spencer Tillman. He's going to be a part of the action as well. Oh, boy. I feel hungry. I want me something to eat. <laughs> I'm partying down with the folks from Fox here on the Donnie Sports Football Show.